am attempting to create a PCB that can be used in the HP 9830A desktop calculator to effectively replace the uh, ROM option modules. So these modules uh, provide various software functions and um, they are quite expensive and hard to find and if anyone has one of these 9830A calculators these software options are quite useful because they provide all manner of um, effectively extensions to the basic operating system of the calculator. But the idea here is to produce a single PCB that will allow images from uh, all of the different uh, options that are available to be put into each card. Uh, you'll still need a separate card for each one you want to enable at any one time simply because of the way that the PCBs are arranged within the 9830. I didn't want to start modifying the 9830, I only wanted to produce a plug-in module so I could have replaced the riser etc for uh, the ROM modules but as I say I don't want to modify the 9830 and I still want it to operate with the original ROM cartridges alongside uh, my PCB. So the first thing I did was to take one of these apart and have a look inside and of course all that's in there is a, uh, a small uh, collection of ROMs but each of the different modules of course has different ROMs. These are mask ROMs so they're programmed at the time of manufacture and uh, that means that I didn't really fancy my chances of getting the original ROMs and even if I did I would have to have had a separate set for each card so that wasn't the approach I was going to take. Instead of what I decided to do was to produce a design that used a more modern EEPROM. So I put this together on a breadboard. It's a fairly simple circuit so I could do this uh, in uh, a fairly easy way. And in order that I could test this and properly develop it, I also put this together. Now this really simulates the 9830A interface to the module. So effectively this plugs into here and this um, replicates the functionality of the connectors on the riser board within the 9830 um, because some of the signals going into this uh, and coming out need to be fairly specific levels. So I did that. This worked. I showed this working in a previous video in which we had it set to uh, reproduce the functionality of the plotter option ROM and that worked. And so I translated this into a PCB design and the PCBs came in some time ago and uh, what I've been doing for the last week or so is I've assembled a number of these and I've been testing these to make sure that they operate the way that they should. So the first test we can do is to plug this into uh, this adapter and see if we can actually read it and um, whether or not the data coming out of it is correct. Okay, so we've got that plugged in. I'll power up the adapter. We'll try and do a read. Okay, and the uh, adapter just fools the programmer into thinking this is a, an EEPROM uh, and in this case of course it is an EEPROM but even when the original card or modules are plugged in it still sees it as the same type of EEPROM or as a pair of EEPROMs as an option uh, that I've built into this you can either use a single large EEPROM uh, with a 16-bit data bus or two 8-bit uh, ROMs. Uh, so Assuming this is read OK, we see all the correct data appearing uh, in the uh, programmer file that it's read. Uh, and this is correct. I've checked this and um, it's actually reading as it should. And what I've got programmed into this EEPROM are all the images for all the uh, modules I could find. Uh, essentially, this is just uh, each of the code from each of the available ROMs. Uh, it does need to be uh, translated because um, these modules invert both the code and the address 
uh, so that has to be taken into account with the code that's put into the EEPROM. Uh, and then what I can do is just select one of these using the small switch on the left hand side of the board there. So what we'll do now is we'll get this out of the way, we'll get a 9830 onto the desk, plug this in and uh, see if it works the way it's supposed to. I don't have the module plugged in yet so what we'll do is power up the 9830. As we can see it's come to life but if I try a command that I know uh, one of the modules is required to support so for example if we try the command plot and I'll just put in some arbitrary values if I now hit the end of line key we should get an error because the uh, 9830 checks commands as you enter them and if it can't find a match for the command it comes up with an error so as you can see error 5 and that error basically means there's no such command supported by this machine if I now power the 9830 off and we plug this module in to one of the slots in the riser and we power it back up I've got the dip switches set to enable the plotter image so I've got the dip switches set to uh, simulate or select the HP 11271B uh, uh, module and if we now try and do the same thing notice it's accepted the command and um, that's because the uh, as far as the uh, 9830 is concerned it now has the plotter ROM cartridge plugged in just to do a further sanity check if I change the dip switches to select a different image okay so I've now got it set to uh, matrix operations and if we switch this on and we try and do the same thing again the cartridge is still plugged in but again we should get a an error because even though the cartridge is there it um, is not set to provide the functionality of the plotter uh, ROM module so we'll just switch it back So it's set back again now to provide the uh, image for the plotter ROM module. We'll power it up one more time, do a final check. And once again, it now accepts the uh, command. I've checked this with uh, all these images. I spent the last week or so going through all this and it works fine. Um, if you want more than one at the same time you do of course need two cards but you can set uh, the cards to any of the images so um, this is now uh, the end of the series obviously it's a success so these cards will shortly be on my website so anyone that wants to buy them can um, obviously reproduce the functionality of any of the ROM modules for which they can find code or of course you could write your own code so um, as I say, that's a success and uh, that's the end of this series.